Hello photographers and welcome to the first episode on my very first YouTube channel. My name is Jonas and I am working as a full-time photographer. I am going to show you how I edit my photos on computer, in the Lightroom, Camera Raw. I'm also going to show you how I edit on the iPad Pro. I'm going to review camera gear. I'm going to tell you all about my workflow, how I vi visualize when I'm shooting. But for today's episode, I'm going to show you how to turn this into this. This into this. I will also provide a link in the description for the photo so you can copy me or do your own versions. And remember, if you like it, please subscribe, leave a comment, follow me on social medias. Without further ado, let's just dive right into it. So these are the two photos we're going to work with and I'm going to show you how to remove the purple colors and turn them into a more skin tone thingy vibe. We can do this uh, the easy way and the hard way. So let's do it the easy way first. Take this white balance selector and hover it over a white surface. Press, voila, magic appears. And some people would be okay with this. Just edit them. And uh, you can also get like, yeah, it, it looks decent. I like it, but I'm going to show you another way. So let's press reset and um, we're going to use the tint and temperature to start with. With the tint, drag it up towards the green because that's opposite of purple. And as you can see, the purple disappears, but she's still a bit warm. So uh, let's drag up the blue, the opposite of yellow, cold, warm. And uh, we get a similar result as when we were using the white balance selector. Okay, now we're just gonna work with the, the exposure, blacks, shadows, whites, highlights, contrast, some clarity. I'm not gonna talk you through this, you can copy me or you can just watch or do your own version. So I like to use, uh, I like to play around with exposure and blacks instead of using the contrast because I think that makes the subject pop up, pop out even more and then I use some clarity, a bit more sharp. Instead of using the contrast slide I go down to tone curve and uh, this is where all the magic happens. I love to drag this slide up here like this because it makes it look a bit more like a 70s photo and then drag down the blacks I can even drag this a bit like that yeah now now it's now we're coming somewhere and then up with the highlights a bit like this but when I'm doing this, you see that some of the purple color are coming back. So uh, we have to adjust this. We could maybe use so drag down the vibrance some. It works. And uh, we can go down to you saturation luminance. Start with you, and uh, use the red one. The red because cause the face because uh, the skin taller is contained with the, uh, not contained, it's it's red color, orange color, and yellow color. So that's what we're gonna work with here. So let's drag up the red a bit towards orange. And you see stuff already happening. And then the orange towards a bit yellow. We're not gonna worry about the yellow here, I think. No. But the magenta we are gonna drag up to red because look at her leg when I do this. It's a bit more skin tone. So in the saturation, let's drag down the red, then let's drag down the orange and the magenta we're gonna leave because if I drag down the magenta, her leg is gonna 
turn black and white. We don't want that. But the luminance, let's drag that up a bit. Let's drag up the orange. Luminance is the uh, kind of the exposure in the lights, in the colors. I want to go down to, after this, I want to go down to details because I want to remove noise. You can remove noise whenever. You don't even need to remove noise from this photo because it's punk, it's rock and roll. But I want to remove like, because I, I'm using ISO 8000, I can remove, I have to remove lots of noise, maybe 40% and you'll see here what's happening. Magic. Removing the noise will remove some details in the photos. I don't mind removing some details if I remove the noise. And then we go down to effects and uh, I'm gonna put on some vignette just to make the subject pop up, pop out even more. I think I'm pretty satisfied with it. Yeah, just gonna use some, just gonna remove this, uh, turn down the highlights in this exposure part. So we're gonna have to use the brush and selectively select this part. Pull down the highlights, then up with the yellow, and then up with the green. Not that much. And if it's too much, we can play around with the saturation as well. Like this. Maybe some contrast to that. Maybe some clarity. Yeah, I think it works. Then we're gonna fix the hair, because it's both purple and blue because of the colors before. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm satisfied. Let's let's remove the bluish color here on her leg as well. Just pull up the yellow, pull down pull up the green like that. You can do the same on her leg here. Not too much though. Like that maybe, down with saturation. And then uh, I see some hints of purple here in the roof. Let's remove that. Looks like it made it worse. Anyways, we're not done with this photo yet. Soon, but not yet, because we have the bass player as well. I don't want to crop him out, because he makes it look more like a action, live feeling. So let's use the brush again. Create a new layer, or whatever you want to call it. And then paint his skin here. And then we're just gonna pull down the pull down down the temperature a little. Not too much though. Maybe some saturation as well, like that. It looks good. And then press done. Okay, I see that her face is maybe a bit overexposed. It doesn't bother me that much if you want to fix that you can only you can always use the brush okay so this is the before and this is the after now i see just make it a bit darker i'm happy let's go over to the next photo let's start with uh, cropping it And then pull up the greens, pull up the blue. This is basically the same edit as the first photo, so 
I'm going to do this quick. Come on. Okay, so I think I'm done with this photo. I'm pretty satisfied with it. This is the before and this is the after one. I, it's a bit overexposured. I could drag down the highlights some like this, but it's, it's doable. That's all friends. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to see all the results, your own versions, and if you have any questions or anything to say to add just leave a comment down below so until next time hey do